Hey YouTube, what's going on? Joe here. And today a little something different for you. Today I'm showing you the Hydro Flask Growler. So, a little bit of story behind it. First of all, sometimes in life you, you buy the same thing with different companies and you get the, pretty much the same results and every once in a while a product comes along and it surprises the hell out of you. And believe it or not, this is one of those products. Now I felt compelled to do a video on this even though this is like something I don't usually cover on the channel. Now I'm always buying these things. Uh, I'm a big uh, a drinker. I, I drink soda but you can't really put soda in it. But I'm a big, a big diet iced tea drinker and I try these bottles and and uh, you know they usually they're not the greatest you know the, you put the the ice in there you put the diet tea in there or the water and uh, you know maybe it stays cold for an hour but then it starts you know has a lot of sweat on the outside whatever the word is uh, condensation and and if it's touching anything you it's not you know like anything near that you don't want to get wet it gets wet and so the end result is always disappointing. And why, like a dummy, I keep buying them different ones and keep trying. I guess I keep trying to find the product that's finally gonna, you know, it's finally gonna do it for me. Now, for the longest time, I've been looking into Yeti um, coolers, but I haven't, I haven't made the the jump to them yet because they're very expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, Hydro Flask is very expensive too, but I got a sale the other day. Uh, there was these big. This is a 64 ounce bottle. I don't, to show you the, the size, I'm going to put it next to, here's a 20 ounce bottle of Diet Coke, just to give you an idea of how big this bottle is. Now, I didn't have to get the 64 ounce bottle, but Dick Sporting Goods had a sale going the other day, and they're mentioning outdoor gear and everything, so I basically was looking for knives, and I saw this, and it goes for like $50, $55, I was like, wow, that's a lot, you know. But there was a it was a coupon I had and it could use and knocked it down to like like early 30s like 32 bucks and I, I, I said oh what the heck I'll go I'll get it I'm probably going to be disappointed you know like the rest of them you know but I figured at least it's a bigger size hold more liquid you know but as it turns out I am the the most pleased with this product not in the slightest disappointment I'm going to tell you a little bit about it 64 ounces right let's take you a little bit around there's nothing much to see. It's got the top, it's on the bottom, it's made in China, where most things are made these days. And um, I've been hearing like some, you know, some stories on this thing can, you know, put ice in it and it's lasting 24 hours in the sun, but I mean, come on, you know, I, I'm, I wasn't feeling that. And I didn't really put it through that kind of hard test, I did it through real world tests. So I got it, I cleaned it out. Um, and so I put, I think it was like the other day, I was working from home, and I put ice in it, and I put some warm diet tea in there, warm, not even out of the refrigerator, strictly warm. And that was at 9 o'clock in the morning, you know, taking sips from in here, and it cooled off like at about, I don't know, 9, 9.30, you know, already the, the, the tea was pretty cold. And, um, what do you call it, the, uh, as I'm drinking it throughout the day, not realizing the time, it's 5 in the afternoon. So that's eight hours later, and even though I'm getting starting to get down, now I didn't fill it up all the way. I filled it up maybe halfway. Throw ice in it. I don't know, not a lot of ice, and threw it up halfway. And uh, at five in the afternoon, there was still ice in it, and I was like, "Wow, this thing is working really good." Throughout the day, too, besides it still being cold, no condensation at all on the outside. You know how they usually it all it'll be all wet out here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I was like, wow, this thing is really working good. Now, I wasn't planning on trying it for 24 hours or something like that. I mean, I, I can't see anybody really putting it in. They would say they put it in the sun 24 hours, testing it out. I mean, who's really going to drink? The, are you going to put drink in here in 24 hours going to drink it? Uh, drink it? I, me, I'm going to empty it out and, you know, get something fresh, put something fresh in there. But anyway, for the heck of it, since it was running low around 5 o'clock, there were a few more cubes in there. Few more, a little bit more warm uh, tea in there, and uh, it was one o'clock in the morning. I was still sipping from it, and it still had ice in there. So this product, I must say, compared to all the other brands that I've bought and all the other brands that I've tried, I can't even name them. I've had this car incarnation in plastic and metals, glass, and they all seem to come up short. 
This product is fantastic. I highly recommend Hydroflex. I'm trying to see if I can get that name in there for you. Hydroflex. Now they come in comes in other sizes, so I can't vouch for the other sizes. And in the 20, 64 ounce, it came in this uh, brushed silver look and also came in a black. Um, Again, I can't recommend the other ones. I can't say because I didn't test those out, but going with the 64 ounce, this is a fantastic product. I highly, highly recommend it. If you're the type of person that drinks a lot or you need a lot of liquid and you have the capability of holding, you know, this is a big size. Look, look at the look at the size of my hand. It's, you know, have the capability of being able to, to, to carry something this big with you, I highly recommend this product. Now, there is the good with the bad. I mean, it's a very, very small bad. Well, two two bads. The one is the price. If you're not getting a coupon, fifty fifty five dollars. That's a lot of money to just to lay out for something like this. And that's would have probably that's what's been shying me away from Yeti. I probably will still try Yeti eventually in the future, but right now I'm very happy with this. So Yeti is going to be on pause. So, but fifty five dollars, like I said, that's the one negative. Now, my personal small negative is this top. Now. If you're trying to drink it like like a normal people should be drinking, is basically just unscrew it, pour it into something, blah 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 blah. Then this top is absolutely fine, nothing wrong with it. But if you're like me, trying to drink it like a Viking, and you know you're you're driving with one hand or doing something else with one hand, and you're trying to balance it and you can't, and you know trying to drink it out of the thing without pouring it in a cup, this thing's like getting in your way. So I was thinking one thing maybe uh, Hydroflask might consider. I was thinking about one of my watches. I have the uh, is the Invicta Russian Diver, and I was thinking, why don't they do something like this? Where let me see if I can get this thing off now. <laughs> I had it, I had it pre pre screwed off. Well, evidently not exactly like this, but it comes. This thing has like a chain on it. I was thinking, why not have this top? Have like a, a metal top with a rubberized coating and make a chain with a rubberized coating. This way, there's no clanging on the side of the, uh, no clanging on the side of the device. And somebody who wants to drink from it, like I do, you know, then the, when you open it, it's going to stay open. You know, you don't have to battle it. I mean, I mean, let's be serious. Most people are going to use it the right way. I'm the only jerk that's going to be battling like a Viking and drinking from the thing. But you know, it, I think it'll be a cool touch to be able to have. You know. Um, like I like like a top like that where it has like like a metal a rubberized metal chain, but other than that, that is that's the only negative. So take a look if you're in the market for something like this. Take a look at the Hydro Flask. I really think you're gonna like it. If you uh, do have it, chime in. Let me know what you think about yours. If you have smaller denominations like the smaller size of this, let me know what you think of that. I'm pretty sure that this is um, the biggest they go is the 64 ounces. If you're not up on your ounces, 64 ounces I believe is a half a gallon. So this is a, can hold a half a gallon of liquid. So check it out. Uh, it's also good for hot too, but I'm not going to put 64 ounces of. Uh, I don't, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm not going to fill it with 64 ounces of coffee. And I, you say they could put soup, but I'm not going to put 64 ounces of soup. That's a lot of soup. But uh, it's mainly made for beer. So if you're a big beer drinker and maybe you got people that you go to parties that have uh, kegs and you want to put, you know, fill it up, there you go. Ice cold beer, you're, you're set. You know, it is, that's what it's mainly aimed for. They call it a growler and a growler is mainly for beer. I per se use it for diet tea. I'm not the biggest water drinker in the world, but I use it for diet tea. I wish I could use it for soda, but I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't see me using this for soda because the soda will probably go flat and I, I don't think soda belongs in here. So anyway, check it out. Just wanted to tell you about it. There it is. The Hydro Flask. I found it at Dick's Sporting Goods, but I'm sure if you look it up on Google, you can find it anywhere. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching my video, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.